All right, welcome to our last math video of the year. Woohoo! Woo so today we are going to be doing lesson 15 problem set. You can do lesson 16 on your own, but we're not going to do it as a class. And today you are going to create and determine the area of composite figures. A composite figure is one that is made up of more than one shape. So in this case, we might have, in this case, we're mostly working with rectangles. So you need to know the formula for figuring out the area of a rectangle, rectangle, a rectangle, which is length times width. Okay. So Emma's rectangular bedroom is 11 feet long and 12 feet wide. We're going to circle the numbers. With an attached closet that is four feet by five feet. Okay, I'm going to box that keyword right here. We know that that's attached. How many square feet of carpet does Emma need to cover both the carpet and the bedroom? So first thing you're going to do when you have a problem like this is you want to draw a picture and label it. So we're going to draw a rectangle to show her bedroom. You can use a straight edge if you want. Okay. So this is going to be 12 feet wide and 11 feet long. She has an attached closet. Now it doesn't say it's in the bedroom, so it must be extra. So this is where it becomes a composite figure because we have more than one. So that is going to be four feet by five feet. All right, to figure out how much carpeting she needs, we need to find the area of this rectangle. We need to find the area of this rectangle and we need to add those together. So area is length times width. So let's find, we're gonna label this A and this B. So A equals, we're gonna multiply 11 times 12. Most of you should know that from reflex. It's 132 and we're gonna label that feet squared. Remember when we find area, it's labeled in square units. Okay, B is going to be five times four, which is 20 feet squared. Now I just need to add these two together. Two, five, and one, and that is 152 feet squared. Let's write that as a sentence. Emma needs 152 feet squared of carpet. At any time, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it to slow down. All right, let's look at problem number two. It says, to save money, Emma is no longer going to carpet her closet. In addition, she wants one three feet by six feet corner of her bedroom to be wood floor. How many square feet of carpeting will she need for her bedroom now? Let's underline this. So, no longer going to need the closet. So we don't need to worry about this rectangle at all. We don't even have to put it in our picture because it's not gonna be um, part of the answer. We do know that she wants to um, have one three feet by six feet corner of her bedroom to be wood floor. So let's draw a picture of what that would look like. We'll start with her bedroom. We don't need to worry about the closet. So we have 12 feet by 11 feet. Now we've already figured the area of this one, haven't we, up here? So let's write that down again. So 11 times 12 equals 132 feet squared. But now we're talking about this three feet by six feet corner. So we're going to make that corner right here and six feet. So let's say she decides to do this as wood. So that is going, we got to find the area of that. So we know that she doesn't want that to be included in her answer. So we're gonna take six times three to find the area, which is 18. So to find what is left, I'm gonna subtract because I'm taking away some of this. So two minus eight, can't do that, so we're gonna borrow. And 12 minus eight is four. Two minus one is one and one feet squared. Let's write that as a sentence. Now, Emma needs 114 feet squared 
of carpet for her bedroom. Okay, give me a second to copy that down. All right, let's move on to problem three. So problem three, we need to find the area of this figure. So let's just take a look at it for a second. So if I was, this would be a full rectangle right here, okay? And then we have this cutout part that we don't want to include in the area because that doesn't matter. But if I find the area of this full figure right here and then subtract the area that's in the inside, it'll give me the area of this figure, which is a composite figure. So let's use 20 times 15 to figure out the area of the larger circle. Okay, the larger square, rectangle, not circle. So we're gonna take area equals 20 times 15, okay? Again, some of you might have trouble memor doing this one in your head. So you can stack it off to the side, or you could do an area model. We're gonna bring down that zero, and now we're gonna multiply, always starting to the ones. Five times two, 10, carry the one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. So that's gonna be 300 feet squared. Now we need to figure out the inside right here. Now, one thing that's kind of tricky about this is they don't tell us what this length is right here. They don't say that. So we have to figure that out using these two lengths. So we know this is five and this is five. So that's five plus five, that equals 10 feet. We know that all of it is 15. So 15 minus 10 is five. So that means that this part that's left over is also five feet. They do label this side for us, which is nice. So we are gonna use 12 and five. Okay, so area of B, we're gonna do 12 times five, which equals 60. And now I said earlier, we're gonna subtract because we don't wanna count this part. So we'll borrow. Oh, don't need to do that. 10, zero minus zero is zero. 10 minus six is four and two, so 240 feet squared. The area is 240 feet squared, okay? For this next one, they want you to do any, you get to put your own numbers in there. So they might be different than mine. Um, and then you're gonna do the same thing that I did up here, but kind of do what makes sense. So if I'm gonna call this like 10, or 15, this might be five, five, and five. And then this might be like three. Okay, I'll let you do that one on your own, but you're gonna do the same process here. Find the area of the large, go ahead and make, give them some measurements, find the area of the larger square, and subtract the area of the smaller square. Okay. All right, back side. Petterkin Park has a square fountain with a walkway around it. The fountain measures 12 feet on each side. The walkway is three and a half feet wide. Find the area of the walkway. So let's start by drawing a picture. So we're going to draw, this is, doesn't look like a square, but pretend it's a square. And then we're gonna draw another square in the middle. Okay. All right. So we know that this is gonna be 12 feet here by 12 feet here. Okay, that part we do know because it's 12 on each side. That's where the fountain is. We know that this is gonna be three and a half feet more on this side and three and a half feet more on this side. So we're gonna add all of these together. So 12 plus three and a half plus three and a half equals 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then a half and a half is another inch, so 19 feet, another foot, I'm sorry. So we know now that each of these is gonna be 19 feet. Because it's a square, it's gonna be the same on both sides. All right, so we need to figure out the area first 
of the larger shape, and then we are gonna subtract the fountain to find the area of the walkway. So we're gonna start by multiplying 19 times 19. Okay, some of you are still struggling with multiplication, so I'm gonna show you a standard multiplication for this one. Nine times nine is 81, carry eight. One goes in your answer. Nine times one is nine plus eight is 17. We're gonna to go to the 10, so we need a zero. We're gonna cross off the eight, we already added it. One times nine is nine, one times one is one. Add these two together, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and one, two, three. So that is gonna be 361 feet squared. Now for the fountain, we're gonna find the area of the fountain, we'll call that B, and we're gonna multiply 12 times 12. Most of you know that one is 144 from reflex. Now we can subtract. We can't subtract one minus four, so we're gonna borrow. 11 minus four is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, seven, and five minus four is one, three minus one is two. So the area of the walkway is 217 feet squared. Okay, number six. If one bag of gravel covers nine square feet, how many bags of gravel will there be need to cover the entire walkway around the fountain in Patterkin Park. So this is going to be division because I know that I can use nine, cover nine square feet. I'm going to have a smaller number. So I'm going to divide by nine. To find this answer. Okay. So when you are dividing by nine, you can do this part. Um, work ahead of me a little bit and try to get it down, get it done. See if you can remember how to divide. Okay, so nine divides into 21. It divides in two times. Two times nine, 18, and subtract. That's three. Bring down the seven. Nine divides into 37 four times. Four times nine is 36 and subtract. And remainder one. So when you're thinking about how many bags do you need, you can't ignore the remainder. You have to round up because they're gonna need that extra bag to fill in this extra one square foot. So they will need 25 bags of gravel to cover the entire area. Okay, and there you have it. All right, we will, um, you can do these last two problems on your own. They're kind of exciting and fun um, if you want, and you can share them with your teacher if you get them done. But those are optional. You don't have to do those. We are done with Module 7.